Um, how would I describe life in pictures? I think being a photographer, you know that photography is about freezing moments in time. So every picture literally is life. It's a point in time that happened in life. And we're capturing these moments and freezing it for generations and generations to come. So photography and life sort of work hand in hand because those are the moments that happened in life, the memories that were created, um, that were frozen in time. So my name is Tony Payne. I am a still life nature and documentary photographer and a nature explorer. So I think what experience shaped my love for and made me switch to the camera? Um, hmm, that's a good question. I've always had a love for the camera, not in the sense of photography, but in the sense of documenting things and filmmaking. So um, when I went to school, I studied video digital art, uh, which is again an extension of creating with the camera, um, but moving images, not still images. Along the way, after graduating, I fell into another line of work. Um, and when I decided, okay, you know, I want to go back to my passion, I fell back in love with capturing moments, but now in stills, which is photography. But I still have a love for moving images as well. So if you see some of my work, you'll see that I have both photography and vide um, videography as well. So I think they go hand in hand. Um, photography and videography are like, brother and sister, <laughs> literally. Oh my goodness, my safe place is out in nature. That's, that's so easy. I, I believe my safe place, what I regard as my safe place is anywhere out in nature. That's where I feel the most at ease. That's where I feel the most comfortable. That's where I'm happiest. So that is definitely my safe place. I say, give me animals, take the humans. <laughs> No, absolutely not. I don't think Nigeria's um, story has been told as it should be. I feel we do not document a lot of things. So my work being surrounded around nature, um, climate, um, wildlife, I feel like Nigeria we're way behind because we do not document things. And we could do so much better documenting things. I mean, like this trip when I was coming, I was like, oh, well, we don't do this in Nigeria. We don't have this in Nigeria. And I was pleasantly surprised when I actually got out there and started exploring how rich Nigeria is. The biodiversity in Nigeria is literally absolutely amazing. Like you're sitting in your home and you look outside your window and you see a bird that you normally wouldn't see in other places. Like I live in Los Angeles and I feel like the wildlife that I've seen in Nigeria are more exciting. But for some reason, we don't document these things. Like the other day, I was asking um, if there are any wildlife photographers in Nigeria, and the answer I got was no. This is a nation of over 150 million. I don't know when they did the last census, but 150 million plus, right? And for us to have 150 million, and we don't have, we don't have at least 10 notable wildlife photographers in a nation where it is full of amazing wildlife, I think it's pretty sad. So how I am creating a narrative that consciously tells and embraces the truth is, if nobody's gonna do it, then I will. And I feel um, as human beings, when we see somebody doing something and we find it interesting, we tend to like pick an interest. And that's what I'm doing. So I feel like I'm building from the, <laughs> literally from scratch at this point. This is something that needs to be done. Um, I don't think my, work is as important where I live. Like if I say, oh, I'm gonna go to America and do this, I can do that. Yes, it is important, but I feel it's more, even more important in Nigeria where um, it's not being done on a massive scale as it should be, where the government is probably not fully vested in what we have. Like, you know, when we go out, first people look at you like, why is this one taking pictures of birds? <laughs> it starts that way. Why is she taking pictures of birds? And it turns to the next day, them joining in watching then the next day it's oh that's interesting oh, i like that you know so i think that's just how it starts i call it winning souls for nature um one person at a time and then you'll start seeing like there are actually people that have the interest but they just haven't seen anybody else doing it or they don't know any viable way to do it and when they see that somebody's actually doing and successful at it then you'll start seeing them coming out um I guess I don't want to say in mass <laughs> more um, than we see now. Hopefully that's what happens. Um, I have a new goal 
to make sure that this happens. Most surreal moment so far? My most surreal moment so far, um, gosh, <laughs> that's a hard one. My most surreal, mo I have to be fast, don't I? All right, my most surreal moment so far, one, seeing my son after he was born, um, number two, that will always be my number one most surreal moment so far. Like, oh my God, I'm seeing this human and I made this human, wow. <laughs> um, the other day, because this is more recent, the other day I saw a hawk um, standing up in the poles um, with its food and that was actually pretty cool. Um, what? I don't have any, <laughs> I don't have any more. <laughs> I don't know, maybe surreal things don't happen to me. <laughs> a place that I have been to that I would do over again. Oh yeah, definitely I love Mexico. Um, I would do Mexico over and over again. A place you hope never to go to again. A place I hope never to go to again. Ah, good. Whoa, okay. Um, I don't think I have any place that I've been to um, that I would say I wouldn't want to go to again because I feel like everywhere is an experience good or bad I can't think of anything right now or any place I've been to that I would be like oh I don't want to go there again favorite number what does it mean to you oh gosh my favorite number is eight for sure um my birthday <laughs> old school or new school music definitely old school music okay so the works that I've done so far um I think obviously my art um bringing my artistic vision to life. That's one of the works that I've done so far. And the ones in progress right now is my One Million Plants for Change initiative. So when we started One Million Plants for Change, it was initially, initially created to kind of bring about awareness about planting, not on a large scale. Like when you hear people say, oh, plant something, they usually say plant trees or, you know, it's usually trees. So the idea behind One Million Plants for Change was you don't have to plant a tree to fall in love with planting. The idea was like the average person can plant. You can have plants in your home and you can plant flowers in your home and it's still great for the environment, right? And just kind of also teach people that without plants, without nature, without everything that we see working hand in hand, we would not be here. And a lot of people take that for granted. They think human beings, we can survive without everything else. We cannot survive without everything else. Like literally they're like the, engine that's running our car but we take them for granted we don't appreciate it because it's every day we see them and it's like okay what what's the big deal so the one million plants for change started as okay a love for planting and then we decided to expand it to recording the biodiversity in nigeria right now we're still in lagos um we've recorded plants we've recorded some wildlife it's gonna be a long-term goal it's not a it's not it's not a year's work, it's not two, two years. Not, this is like looking like decades worth of work, as long as you know God keeps us all alive. Um, but yeah, so that's what we're doing right now. That's what's in progress in just education. Um, I'm starting to create videos. I used to not like doing videos <laughs> for social media, but now I'm starting to make videos for social media to kind of get people interested, like, okay, this is what's going on. These are the plants you have in your area. Have you noticed it? And people are actually like, oh, wait, I've seen that. <laughs> so now you watch one of my videos, guess what's gonna happen? While you're walking down the street, you're actually gonna take note. You're gonna be like, oh, wait. Now I actually see these things that ordinarily you probably would have considered mundane. They don't matter, but now you're gonna start seeing them. Now they're gonna start meaning something to you. Now they're gonna to start to matter to you. My social media handle, so my Twitter is at Tony Payne, that's C-O-N-I-P-A-Y-N-E. And my Instagram, TikTok is at official Tony Payne. My YouTube is Tony Payne, T-O-N-I-P-A-Y-N-E.